depends on what you're looking for. I'll put it like this, if you're looking for content and you count stands as content, YBA wins. But in terms of builds, TCA has one thing YBA doesn't have, accessories. This alone causes more variety in combat than YBA by default. Part 1. Updates. This game gets updates on a weekly or at most 2-3 to three week basis. I apologize if I sound out of breath. I'm recording these in between sets, unlike YBA players, I care about my health. So unlike Uzu from YBA, which will lie to our face, back to back like he did with the Sticky Fingers rework, these devs just won't. And I would also assume, don't kill me, that they talk to the community unlike him as well. Alright, let's get to the story. Part 2. Beginnings. I'm not going to show any footage for the story because, one, I don't have it, second, it really doesn't matter in the long run because how short it is. But I will say it does part 4 story instead of part 5. That's all that really matters. You hit all the same beats as in the YBA story. You get your first stand arrow and just follow and do killing quests around the playable area and then you're done. Part 3. Now what? When you finish the story, you'll have two goals if you didn't get the stand that you wanted. You try to get that, and here comes my first problem. This map is too small. And sometimes, you can't find any items because they've already been yanked. And I don't know if the respawn timers are really long, or since the map is so small, people get them super fast right as they spawn. Could be a bit of both. My fix for this is easy. Either increase the item spawn rate by two to three times, or the hard way, make the map bigger. I think either will work, once you get the stand you want to use, your next step is to get to level 100 and get your rank up. You may be asking, what are ranks? They are just what allows you to store stands and other things and use codes, which is a weird choice, but whatever. One good thing though, is that you only need to get to level 100 once. No prestiges like YBA, just a one-time grind, which is great. So I'm not gonna talk about what you grind to get to level 100, just kill whoever you want. There is no level lock quest. Just kill whoever you want till you're level 100. Either that be Dio, Jorno, Jotaro, or the Big Red Bird, which I really don't recommend. The end game. You're now level 100. Now you ask, now what? Let's talk about the three things you will be doing. As you saw while running around the map, there are quest NPCs like Weather Report, and those quests are how you involve certain stands. Unlike YBA, there are raid bosses. They each have their own drops either needed for stand quests or accessories. Here's a quick tip. You only need 5% damage to count as a kill for you, and back off whenever you need a hill and you'll be okay. And just like YBA, you have 1v1s and a TCA exclusive mode, Mosh Pit. Let's start with 1v1s. First, there are way more balanced than YBAs, which is a godsend because there's always going to be stronger stands and specs than others because JoJo, internally, has stands that have way better power concepts than others. It will never be perfect, but this is close enough compared to the nonsense in YBA. Looking at you, Seamoon. Then here's Mosh Pit. I've seen footage, but I couldn't get to the game because of one problem this game has. The player count. Until this gets either the same or more stands slash content as YBA, the player count will always be really low. Cause on Roblox it's pretty random what has players. Look at Blox Fruits. But once the player count rises, this game will saying, well, but once its player count rises, this game will saying much looking like at other Roblox games or at least JoJo games is a godsend. Part 5. Suggestions. Reduce the price of stand arrows in the shop from 2000 to 1000. They are way too much for an early player. And while night might be a problem for a longer person playing the game, you want new players to join and stay. The old players have already committed, and you need new blood to keep any game alive. And getting your favorite stand as fast as possible will make more new players want to stay longer. Third, make raids spawn a little faster. It feels like they take a little too long, maybe 10 to 20 minutes, but that one isn't as bad as other things. Third, make the sell prices of items higher. The Corrupted Roka as an example. Explain to me why it's 6,000 to buy one, but only 600 to sell. I get profit, but this is a straight up scam. Why would I ever sell one? Lastly, add more stands that YBA doesn't have. Because more people play this game if their favorite stand is in this game and not YBA, just because of variety. An example, you could add Ball Breaker, the full or stands that are bad on their own and only good with the spec, like Cheap Trick or Ball Breaker. Not every stand needs to be combat related. The more variety, the better, and the wackier the outcomes in 1v1s. What is the final verdict? If you're bored of YVA and want to try something new, there's no reason why you can't play both. If you like balanced combat, don't play this. I give this game a 7 out of 10 for score now and a 10 out of 10 for potential if they keep on this track. 
And if any TCA developers want to contact me, feel free to. Uh, I would enjoy uh, spitballing any ideas with you guys. Uh, thank you, and enjoy the video. Like and subscribe. <laughs> So things look bad, and your back's against the wall. Your whole existence seems fucking hopeless. You're feeling filthy after using Anubis and Pluck. Face the world after what you did.